Hi everyone, uh, today I am showing off my recent purchase from Walgreens drugstores. That would be the Marvel Legends Walgreen exclusive Nova, the man called Nova. Now, um, I just thought I'd take a moment just to show you the uh, little workstation that I uh, do a lot of my uh, animated projects on. Uh, the computer's on over there. I got a couple of things in the corner that inspire me. And then, uh, of course, I propped up some other stuff as well. So, um, basically, uh, back in middle August, there was some sightings of the Nova figure. And uh, the thing is, is that it was also reported way back in April that the figure had came out, but only in Canada. Uh, a lot of uh, Marvel Legend fans and Nova fans wasn't prepared for that. We wasn't, you know, we wasn't supposed to hear anything about uh, being shipped anywhere other than the United States. And uh, what ended up happening was that there's a company out there, or should I say a, a business out there, that must have had a parent agreement with Walgreens. So uh, it's called EB Electronics uh, Video Games. So they got it back in April. Uh, everybody lost their mind because they thought, well, where's the United States release? And uh, let's move forward to about July or August, and all of a sudden there was a lot of eBay, a lot of flooding on eBay of these figures. And then all of a sudden there were reports that somewhere in California uh, they were showing up. Um, I did some research online found a guy in Connecticut uh, who also posted on YouTube his find, uh, a guy in uh, New York said he saw one, uh, I think even a guy in Boise, Idaho. Uh, so I want to say since July or August, this has been the one of the most salt, uh, salt, salt high guy. I got my words all tongue, twi uh, tongue twisted, sorry sought after uh, figures. Uh, personally for me, uh, I didn't know how I was going to handle the rejection of not finding this in the stores. I do shop online, but I must tell you I've had very good success in my years of collecting stuff. Now, uh, make sure you understand I am a huge Nova fan. But I do like other things as well, and I've brought stuff over the years, and I've had to go hunt and I was very good at it, and um, it was very rewarding. But when I heard Walgreens was going to have this, I thought, nah, it, it can't be that difficult, right? There's Walgreens on every corner. And then it, nobody knew when it was going to come out, and it came out somewhere else first, and then it started showing up online, and I knew what that meant. That meant that now you're going to have to hunt. And I did. I got my... Uh, my toy collecting clothes back on, it's just a figure of speech. But I had to pull out all my old memories of how to go about finding stuff in the streets. And I did. I, uh, I went out uh, mid-August, and then uh, there were reports and um, uh, web pages saying that people had found them. And I tried to follow trends, anything that would show me a pattern. You know, I'm here in Illinois, uh, Chicago, Chi-Town, but um, no one was reporting it here. Uh, and a lot of people in Texas, Florida, you name the place, they couldn't find it. They were all upset. And then the hunt began. So every time I saw a guy on YouTube posting he had one, I was hoping he'd tell me where he was. And I want to share this with people to let them know it's out there. Uh, how brand new to this state? I don't know. How many times have they done it since I've been looking, put it on the shelf? I don't know. Uh, I will be honest and tell you, I was losing hope. I've been all over the city and just being stubborn. Um, living on my success of years past and believing if I want something bad enough, I'm going to get it. And I'm going to pay my price. And... Uh, it wasn't easy. Everybody's reviewing the figure. I don't want to post a review of the figure uh, as a look, look, guys, look, look what I got here. I got a shirt, one of the first shirts 
that really took advantage of the costume. No, but not just putting him on a shirt, but emulating his costume on the shirt. I found that at a, at a comic book convention, at the last day of the convention. Uh, over here is another shirt that they released. I've posted these pictures before, but in, in the context of this video, I want people to understand that, you know, here, here's more shirts, uh, some books, uh, my bookcase with uh, as many issues that Nova's been in, whether it's been his book or somebody else, uh, fan art. Uh, I'm even working currently, if you can see on the screen, my uh, little animated pro um, a project, and these are all the characters. I'll post this one later as well, so I don't want to give away too much. But I am, I am a true Nova fan, and in every sense of the word, um, I do like a lot of other stuff. I will make that perfectly clear. But since Nova first came out, I was hooked. And this predates, you know, a lot of uh, modern day science fiction and, and comic books. And, uh, you, you know, you get attached to something. You get a fond affection for something. And, and it, it's, it's, that's what it is after that. So for, the, for me, I, I, you know, I, I could not have it. I wanted it. I needed it. Um, this, is, this means more to me than most people who are finding them on the streets. There are new Warrior fans, which is Nova, a part of that group, and I can respect those people. But um, this, this for me, is the Holy Grail, currently, anyway. Um, there is um, another item that will be coming out uh, next year, and I'll post that as well. And I can't wait to get my hands on that. And uh, life is good to be a Nova fan because uh, somebody's taking interest, and somebody knows that there's a market and profit to be made off of people who like Nova. And I am one of them, but um, this this was hard. This was depressing. I went to a lot of stores. They had a lot of stuff. Some days they had nothing. Um, it, it's, it's, it's hard when you don't know how to go about doing something, but you want something in life. And um, I went to a lot of places, and I enjoyed the hunt. I, I, I was a hunter for a long time, and I take exceptional pride in saying that. And the truth is, is that um, I knew. I knew I was getting closer. Somehow I could feel it, but it didn't still see, uh, seem real when I found it. I, and I must admit, I went on a Saturday, just this past Saturday. Today is Wednesday, and I'm posting this uh, four, four days later. I wish I could have posted it the same day because I want people to know they're out there. I want them to go out and find them. So here's what I'm saying. Um, I went on a Saturday with a strategy of a neighborhood that I thought based on another neighborhood I went, how uh, the employees work, what kind of habits do they have with stocking thoroughly and, and often and right when the stuff gets to the store. And uh, there were specific areas where people work better than other people. They do their job. And I didn't have the success I wanted at the few stores that I went and saw that, but I mapped out a couple of locations in an area that I thought would be just as productive, and I could not have imagined that I would have that kind of success. But, you know, sometimes it, it all works out, and I think the stars lined up for me to have it. You know, not to say I'm special, but I, I'm i one of the few people that I know that from the very beginning has been a Nova fan. I know a lot of people get on bandwagons, and I have gotten on bandwagons too with things, but uh, Nova holds a special place in my heart uh, as growing up, and uh, that can't be removed. And in spite of you know a lot of people who have their likes and then let them go, I always uh, had an affection for the character. Always. I've, I've watched the, internity and, uh, the entire journey of the character. You know, from beginning till now, and now we have Nova in our conscious, and uh, very close to having a movie or a television show or something. The only time will tell. But um, again, I got it. It it uh, it was a very surreal moment when I saw it on the shelf. I just couldn't believe it. And uh, there were only two. And it was a Saturday, and it was 7 o'clock at night, and the place was busy, and kids were running around, and I, I couldn't imagine that they were was, they was sitting on the shelf, two of them, just sitting there. So who's to say how many times that happened, and people picked the wrong day to go, the wrong time to go, in the wrong store. So um, 
I have labeled myself as the ultimate Nova fan. I know there are other people who are just as passionate, but they, I, I think I may have inspired people. I'd like to think so. I'm hoping I'm inspiring somebody right now to uh, seek out a passion and continue to do so. And all I wanted to do was share my uh, story of me finding uh, the Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusive Nova figure. So uh, until my next posting uh, regarding my projects or, or anything else I should find in the future, uh, this is the Ultimate Nova Fan signing out. Thanks for watching.